talk about uh, technology integration. Um, many teachers, when trying to integrate technology into their lesson plans, end up getting dazzled by the wonders of web tools and run the risk of forgetting their real focus, the lesson goals. So, you should always ask yourself, what do I want my students to be able to do? Do I want my students to be able to uh, complain about something, describe a person, give directions? So, what do I want my students to be able to do? I have written down some questions which uh, might help you decide which web tool to use for a specific lesson. Uh, the first question would be, what are the aims of the lesson, of course, like I said before? What are your lesson goals? Then, ask yourself, what kind of extra practice do I need my students to have? This can also help you decide on a web tool. So, if uh, I think my students need more speaking practice, for example, then I can select uh, VoiceThread, uh, BubbleJoy, uh, photobabble, something that will make my students um, speak. Which is the best tool to achieve the goal? Yes. So, this is question number three. If my students need more speaking practice, then I need to select a tool which will help um, me achieve these goals. Four. How am I going to propose the web tool task? This is very, very important um, to motivate students. So, think, how are you going to propose that? Are you going to um, send the instructions to your students via email? Are you going to write the instructions on the board? Are you going to show an example and involve students so that they feel motivated uh, to perform the task? Think about it. Question five. Where will my students do the task? Will I ask my students to do the task at home? Then make sure to ask your students if they have a computer at home, a microphone, a webcam, whatever um, tools they need to perform the task. Um, are we, you going to do it in class? Then you have to think of the time you need for that. Or at the lab. Do you have a good computer lab? How many computers do you have? Are you going to have students work in pairs, individually? So plan the time. Question six. How will the students share their work? It's very, very important that um, at the end of the project, the work should be shared, right? Are they producing something only for your own eyes? No, not really. That's not the purpose if, if you're using web tools. So, um, we're going to share the work with parents, friends, other classmates, other groups. So, how are you going to share? In a class blog? In a class wiki? In Edmodo, if you have an Edmodo group? Question seven. What follow-up activity will we have? So, there needs to be a closure. So, if your students are producing animations, for example, are they going to present their animations to each other in class? Or, are you taking all students to the lab so that they can watch each other animations and, uh, and grade and mark uh, so that they can give their opinion which is the best? I don't know. Or, um, are you going to um, publish in a, a wiki? and maybe have parents comment too. So, what kind of closure are you planning? And finally, it's essential to point out that you can only decide which is the best web tool to reach a certain goal once you yourself, teacher, have explored as many tools available. So, it's very important that you explore several different tools so that you know which one to use for that specific lesson. I hope these questions have been helpful.